Hi boys and girls. For today's learning video, your goal is to describe the connections between two characters, events, ideas, or pieces of information. As good readers, you should always be thinking about what you're reading. And one way to do that is to think about how things are connected within the text you're reading. So sometimes you might think, how are the characters alike? What do they have in common? If you're reading informational text, you might think, how is this information the same? Or how do the events in the story relate to each other? Connections are all about things relating or what they have in common or things that are the same. Let's take a look at some. Boys and girls, you're learning all about maps and globes, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to find the connection between these two pieces of information. So to begin, we're gonna look at both pictures. So we have picture one, which is the picture of the globe, and then we have picture two of the map of Florida. When you wanna find the connection, you wanna look carefully. So let's look at picture one, the globe. Well, the globe is round like a sphere or ball, it tells where places are, and the globe is very colorful. Let's take a look over here at picture two out of our maps. Maps are flat, and they help you find your way. Maps are colorful, they have a key, a compass rose, and a title. So now that we've kind of observed our information a little bit further, let's think about how they are similar. Well, we know both tell you where places are located. We know both have a compass rose and are colorful. How are they different? We're talking about globes and we said they're shaped like a sphere and they are of the entire world. Whereas maps are flat and can show a specific place like the state of Florida and not always of the entire world. Some maps do, but in this case, this map is simply of our state, Florida. When you wanna find the connection, you're thinking how are they similar? I'm going to show you a really cool tool that you're gonna use a lot in first grade to help you do this. This tool is called a Venn diagram. It's right here. Use a Venn diagram when you're wanting to compare pieces of information out of a story or a text that you're reading. So for this exercise, we're just gonna compare the globe and the map. When you use a Venn diagram, how they are alike are the connection, and that's what we put in the center. When we think about how they're different, we write that on each side. So we would write how the globe is different here, and we would write how the map is different on this side. Let me show you what I mean. We said the globes are round. A map isn't round, so I'm not gonna put it on the map side, just over here on the globe side. We did say that maps were flat. So the flat is gonna go on this side of my Venn diagram. Now our learning goal is how are these connected? Do you think you know? Hmm. If you said that they both tell you where places are located, you can kiss your brain. That, my friends, is how these two pieces of information are connected. You have an exit ticket. You're going to compare two characters this time. You're gonna tell how they are alike and how they are different but I really want you to focus, boys and girls, on how they are connected. So you're gonna be thinking about how they're alike. The one character you're gonna describe is O from home, and you're gonna compare O with Lilo, I'm sorry, with Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Remember, boys and girls, I want you to focus on how these characters are connected. How are these two characters connected or how they are alike? What do they have in common? When you're finished, make sure you put your Venn diagram in your work binder so that your teacher can check it. Good luck. 